this is the end of form of Samuel Apps and in this tutorial we're going to look at how to save a custom class data in the NS user defaults. So we're just going to create a new project here. I'm going to save it as class user defaults. Go next. Go create. So first thing we're going to do is just go to the storyboard and we're going to add in two buttons. One to just save a custom class data and one to load it. So we'll go save, save and load. Just going to make an action for each of these buttons. So for save, we'll do save. For load, we'll do load. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm just going to create a new blank Swift class and we're just going to name it truck. Go file, new file. Just select a Swift file. I'm going to name it truck. Okay, so in this truck name, in this truck class, we're going to do class truck. Gonna have three properties. The first one will be the name of the truck, which will make a string. Second one will be the number of wheels it has, which will be an int. Third one will be the color of the truck, which will just make as a string for now. And to initialize it, we'll do init. Do p name string. P no wheels as string and P color as a string. Just go back to the wheels and that's meant to be an int. For this to do name equals P name. P no wheels equals no wheels. P color equals See what's over here. Ah, oh, yeah, just got this one. Three color. I uh, see where I'm going to just got them mixed around the wrong way. So fix that up, should all be good. Right, that will initialize a class. Now we're going to need a few methods that will allow us to save and load the data from NS user defaults. So the first one is init brackets coder. Just copy it from here. What we need. So this is the first method we need. And in here we need to do cell dot name equals a decoder. Decode object for key. The key will do exactly the same as the name of the so name as a string, and we repeat this for the number of wheels and the color of the truck. So one, two. Let's change it. The number of wheels, no wheels, set that as an int, and the color as a string, and also the number of wheels here. 
itself that color. Once that's done, we need a function. In this wheel coder, a coder colon ns decoder, and that's going to output a truck. And that code is going to be the same as above, except with one more line, which is return itself. And the final one is function encode with coder, a coder colon ns encoder, which is this one here. And for that one, we do a coder dot encode object. And we do this one here. So we'll do name, four key name. And then we'll repeat this for the other two properties in our class. So no wheels for number of wheels. And color for color. Right, now that we've got our truck class set up, we'll go back to our view controller, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set up the save button. So we're going to create a new truck variable, so vert equals truck, and what we're going to do, the name of the truck, we'll just say it's Bob, number of wheels it has is 6, and the colour is red. Now to save this to the NS user defaults, we need to go let encoded name equals NS key archiver dot archive data NS key archiver yep, dot archive to data with roots object do t dot name so the name of the truck which is Bob and then we repeat this for the other two just changing the values so I'll copy and paste that in here the second one be coded number of wheels that will t dot no wheels Last one be encoded color, which is t dot color, and now what we need to do, we need to put all this into one NS data object, which will then be saved into the user defaults. We'll do do there encoded array, make it all type NS data. equals brackets encoded name will be the first value in the array then encoded number of wheels then encoded color will be our last value then we'll set up our user defaults to save it to it now so just set that up okay, so up here we'll just set up our user defaults with let user defaults equals ns user defaults of standard user defaults we'll just save it with user defaults set object value will be encoded array and 4k we'll just do truck item for now the user defaults dot synchronize Now we'll set up the load button to retrieve the value from NS user default and unpack it into its own truck class. So to do that, we need to do the truck data encoded as an NS data type equals user defaults dot object for key truck item 
brackets as ns data with the brackets around it, square brackets around it, because it's an array of objects in ns data. Now to set it up with the their unpacked name string equals ns keyed unarchive this time, so going the other way around dot unarchive object with data and for the data we'll do the truck data encoded since that's where all our data is brackets zero as ns data brackets as string so the first item will be zero will be the name of the truck then it will be the number of wheels and the color since that's the order we stored it in the truck data encoded array so let's copy this line and we'll get the other two values out so unpack number of wheels do this as int and set that to one since it's a second item in our array and let's set this to int and unpacked color and set that to two since it's our third item in the array and now that's that's done we can create a new truck there we'll also do there t equals truck and we'll do this p name as unpacked name number of wheels as unpacked number of wheels the color as unpacked color to make sure that's all correct, we'll, we'll just print the line of each item. So t dot name, print line t dot number of wheels, and last of all, print the line t dot color. And also, when it's the data is saved, we'll just print the line to the console, just saying that's been saved. So now that's set up, we'll run the application and test it out. Okay, so save the data, we can see it's been saved. So that would have said the name Bob, the number of wheels is six and the color red. So if we load that, it should load it and print it back to the console to go load. As we can see, it's printed out Bob, number of wheels is six and red back to the console. So you can download the source code for this project below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below. Also check out our website, Facebook and Twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen.